All right, hello everybody and welcome back. We're playing more of the Unicorn Pack today. I'm not sure what I'm going to go for specifically. I do want to get a late game mana build at some point, probably with Sentinels and Sea Serpents. Uh, or even, maybe even an earlier one with a Chimera, because I did, like my very first run had one of those, but I didn't use it very well. So I would like to go back to that and have a much cleaner attempt now that I actually kind of know what I'm doing. I still haven't used most of the pets in the pack, but I feel like I've used the good ones at least. <laughs> Alright, get the Axe Hound. Stack Bargast, I think. Leave Egg. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll just stack that. Like, we're, we're safe. We're on 5 HP, second turn. A loss doesn't actually hurt. Alright. Cool. Get the HP back. We have a level. I like it. And Orb Awesome Mandrake. So I haven't used this yet. Start a battle, make one tier 2 or lower, faint enemy dazed. I could try this. Because I haven't, like I said, I haven't used it. Let's see what we can do with that. And you know, yeah, I think we try and get some value out to you. Let's get you to near level 3 and give it a gingerbread. Or just get it to level 3, I guess. And you'll start a battle, actually, so that doesn't matter. And I'm pretty happy with that at the front. I know my egg is kind of the most top-heavy, but... Yeah, 3-1's fine. And we actually got a snipe off. That's something else I want to try. I want to actually try a build just with tons of those axe handle hounds. <laughs> I want to see if that works. Because I think they only need one pair to be able to, like, all shoot off. Thunderbird gives something, plus three. It's not bad, like, it's an improvement over there, but next turn we can find tier threes, which is an even bigger improvement over some of these. So let's just look for levels for the stuff we care about at the moment. And, yeah, you can benefit from that. Oh, nothing else? I'm gonna keep rolling, show me a Cuddle Toad. Or, oh, you know, another one. Yeah, two of those, great. Alright, that's good. I, it does mean that the gingerbread is kind of wasted, but I think we level that up next time. And, oof. Never mind, we win. <laughs> cool. For some reason, I assumed I had weakness, but it was just it, it got dodged because of the gingerbread, so <laughs> it actually did save us. Uh, early Cyclops is always incredible. I think we get rid of Sneaky Egg for that. And then I'm hoping to find Mandrakes. I don't know what sort of build you do with Mandrakes, but <laughs> I'll keep them. Okay, uh, swap those two. And honestly, you can go to the front as well. You're really tanky now. So yeah, let's give our small things weakness if other people are running this. Okay, so we stopped them from getting <laughs> free rolls, but it doesn't actually affect them because this isn't a real person. So that wasn't ideal, but it's fine, I guess. Maybe maybe run this. I obviously want to combine them as soon as possible because of this guy, but I need the third, otherwise I don't really care. Oh, yeah, wait, no, never mind. We can just do that. Do that. No, the Mandrake. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Send again. So now that one's going to level up in the fight, which um, Cyclops gives him some stats and stuff. Which is good. This guy has double Sandworm already. Alright, what are we looking for? I want more Cyclops, I'm going to combine these, but what do I want from tier 5? I might just go for a leveling build, so like, if I can get another Quaxlotl Team Spirit scaling thing, then I can scale up these and maybe go for like a, a ton of Mandrakes? I'm going to combine these because I want to see what it is, but <laughs> yeah, this is fine for now. Bad Drog and Red Dragon. I don't think either of these really help me. Like, you know, it's good, and it's, like, better than this, at the very least. So I'll take Red Dragon, but... Yeah, we want, we want rid of that. <laughs> Vampire Bat's obviously very good with you. I'm not going to be sticking with that. Oh, I can actually give them dazed, and that's also going to be an ailment, right? Okay, so Vampire Bat actually does have synergy with the Mandrake. So maybe I do keep that around. It's, it makes it just that little bit better. Oh, and yeah, we'll take the Witch's Broom, because <laughs> Vampire Bat... Another Mandrake. We can get it leveled up. Let's do it. Okay, how much does order matter? Do it that way. I don't want my bat right at the back, just in case they have, you know, a level 1 bar guys or something. Also, they actually had the, the dog thing. And I feel like I got great equipment and they, like, ailmented themselves. Double rock, I think we're good. 
Yeah, we just roll. I need Cyclops, Mandrake, and Vampire Bats. I don't actually think I'm looking for anything else. And I'm almost tempted to sell that to try and like get extra value, but yeah, we're just going to stack it. Yeah, stack that as well. We're not actually <laughs> any stronger for it, but we're almost there. Yeah, see, like, I don't know. I, I like the idea of Mandrake, but the effect seems kind of weak. Like, for the amount of investment I've put into it, I'm not changing a whole lot. Okay, Gingerbread Man. So that's on you if I don't get the actual level is very nice. Potentially the same there, but... Actually, yeah, probably there first. Another Red Dragon. I think I'm going to end up swapping this out. Unless I swap the Bar Geist out. If I get you leveled up, then it is better. So I guess we will pivot that. This is incredible, but I can't <laughs> buy any of it. Again, I could sell you to buy something right away. I think that is a terrible play, though, so we will not. And we're not going to need those, because I already have the levels for everything. Okay, sent again. We are going to be a lot stronger, because now we have the level 2 vampire bat doing stuff. And that's amazing. We actually counted a chimera. Okay, never mind. I take it back. Madrake is amazing. <laughs> they actually prevented it. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, these aren't helpful yet. If I did have scaling, then we could do something. But I may be sticking with a an ailment build because, yeah, we already have something going with the Madrake. And then one more. Maybe, yeah, buy this one just in case something gets replaced. Because I think we're going to lose that. Yeah. Okay, so Crux Kotal. You can give me XP for the Madrake. But I don't think I care. Yeah, I think I'm okay, because we just need to find like one more chocolate or normal one in the shop, and it's already leveling itself up that way. So we can probably get rid of the Cyclops soonish. And then, yeah, we can just go even harder on the Vampire Bats. Like, I don't know, find a Phoenix maybe? <laughs> it is dangerous, because my own stuff has really low stats, but I'm fine with it. And hey, we can maybe go for the level 3. Send. Yeah, send. Okay, they have a Phoenix. They're also just extremely dead, though. <laughs> okay, I want to see someone with a, an amazing Sea Serpent build. Someone running this guy or something, and I want us to just wreck it. I want it to be destroyed. Alright, start the... Get some mana. Uh, Phoenix. Yeah, I could just... I could take Phoenix over this guy, because we're basically done with him. So stack this as well. There we go. First level three. Another Phoenix? Um, so my options are either get rid of the Bargast and then, you know, try and level up a Phoenix, or I just get rid of the Cyclops, keep that in case, and then run this as well. Because Bargast and the Fire Dragon kind of compete for the same stuff. And honestly, even this, we could just, like, hit the same thing three times, which isn't great. Um, keep them frozen. I'm not going to sell anything this turn. Yeah, I think I'll sell that next turn. We can buy these, give it a gingerbread, and then... The next time we find a couple of chocolate, we can get it all the way leveled up, and then we can pivot that as well. But this is already probably enough. Yeah, see? Like, we ruined Nessie. Okay, yeah, Madrake is actually amazing. <laughs> so many of these broken pets are just doing nothing. Oh, poor people. Oh, nah, I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm changing my mind. There's not enough time. We'll do this. Look at this. I don't want to throw any harder than I have to. Okay, so where do I want you? Because you can hit... Wait, hold on. How many things are you going to hit? You can hit six random things and summon a 12-12. So that will hit my three things over here and probably three things on the enemy team. But that's fine because you guys don't even have good equipment. So, yeah. Send it. I can maybe give them something. But I'm not sure what would help. <laughs> Hitting the Bigfoot doesn't really help. Oh, plus, yeah, like, it got replaced again. The Mandrake triggered. <laughs> the Mandrake triggered, and then it got replaced by other stuff. I need to give this thing more attack. So leveling that does nothing right now. Let's see, what's the attack thing? Yeah, eat me cake. I need to give this eat me cake so it goes before. No, I need it to go after, so I need to give it to that. Yeah. Let's not eat me cake. I'm going to be honest, though. I think we're just fine. I'm not touching that. 
I can put it on there, but nah, I'm not giving my own team weakness for no reason. Feature mentality? Nah. Okay, we just buy this. And yeah, Manticore is fine, but I think we are just swell. I don't think we're going to have any problems. Any good hits? We hit Nessie. We didn't hit that. And yeah, Nessie, Nessie thing got replaced again. Hmm. So how do I fix this? Is it just the the Phoenix that's causing problems? Yeah, because your your thing's without equipment, so that's never going to replace this. This has more attack. So I can just do this, and then I think we're fine. Yeah, okay. Okay, good to know at least. Um, I could always try and have summons, but again, like this is always going to cause issues. Because this has its own summon, so I don't want to push that out of the way. I'll lose one of these. And this one's at the front, so we'd always lose one anyway. And more XP. If I lose again, I could try and get this to level 3. Oh, yeah. No, we can do that. Again, it means we have to lose, but... <laughs> I think we might be okay. They actually have no equipment. No, what is what is happening? My stuff is getting replaced every time. It's the level up. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Bat survived. <laughs> Yeah, you can't get me. Hey. We got the Madrake. A little bit messy. A little bit messy, but he actually is really good. Like, I think we destroyed one Nessie and a Chimera, and both teams just completely were hinged on that. So yeah, one cycle taken away, they just had nothing. So yeah, actually pretty good pets. We'd go for that again. Alright, and round two. Let's go for Cuddle Toad. I don't, I don't know if I want these. I could try it, maybe. I know I have bought one before, but they're not really my thing. I'll just take a Bargast. Alright, let's be the Golden Astronauts. And what have you got for me? That is absolutely fine. Okay, now we get to Hard Roll to try and find some combos. There's potential. I do see Mermel, and that does have synergy with this, but I don't know. I can maybe go for a Mermel, like a late game Mermel thing, because I know it does work pretty well with Team Spirit and like Cyclops spam. Um, for now, though, I'm going to just do this. So we want to make sure this isn't right at the front, because it needs to jump to be able to get any value, and it's already dead. Okay. It's a loss, but it doesn't matter. Nice. Right, HP back. We have a level up. Probably won't be going for you. Uh, mana Hound. That's something else that I've been meaning to try. Start a battle, give the nearest friend a head, plus one mana for each roll this turn. So that isn't good at spamming mana, so it's not good for the warg. But if I have it in a roll build, so like a yeti or two, and then have like Chimera maybe? Maybe Sea Serpent, but yeah. This could be good. And honestly it's fine by itself, because I'm going to roll a couple of times most turns anyway. And then we get like an extra two damage snipe on something. So I think sell this, have some roll synergy. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm gonna have double roll. Yeah, hold on. Have this. Freeze that. Keep rolling. And you know what? Yeah, get that to tier three. I think this is just really good. No one seems to have equipment in the, like in like the first whole half of the game. So this is almost always just guaranteed weakness. Ah. <laughs> One of them didn't die, so let's change that a bit. And do that. I don't know, Mana Hound may make the most sense if I can find another one. If I do this, I get an extra roll next turn. But I don't know if I'm going to find another one, so let's put it on there. Put it on there because it matters more. And then I just need to find a good um, target for it. Hopefully early Chimera, because that'll actually keep us alive. They're not dying. <laughs> How are they not dying? They're my front lines. Yeah, there's one. Okay. So you're effectively leveled up. Um, I was thinking about rolling for Wyvern before I combined those, but I think I should just do it now. And Wormer Sand. I mean, we're going for a roll build, kind of. And you're kind of high tier. And you're my other kind of high tier thing, so... I'll take it for a bit, but I don't think it's very good. And I'm also not sure what I'm looking for. But if I find it, I'm sure I'll I'll know. 
Uh, yeah, let's do this, because then we can maybe get levels on those. You to the back, you also back there. And send. I really don't think I care what I'm putting the Mana Hound stuff onto. Like, it's all the same, really. I'll take it. I'll take a draw. Okay, another Bigfoot. Um, I could go for the achievement, maybe. But I don't know if I want to. I want to. I still want to just make the cool builds. Like, I don't want to have to hold on to weird early game stuff for no reason. But it could be helpful just to have, like, Gingerbread Man on it as well. If I can get that leveled up, because it's already very big. Another man. Well, oh, sorry, Madrake. I want the <laughs> Wyvern, I think. Um, or I roll four times. But I don't think I do that. I think I just do that and ignore my worm. I may end up selling that again. Like, it's really not good until Yeti Yeti. And even then, it's not very good compared to other things you could be doing. So yeah, we'll see. And hey, first actual loss. I think I lost turn two, but that doesn't <laughs> really count for much. And we'll do that now. Um, start a battle, make the last enemy crisp. Friend jump to give it stuff. Or friend faints, transfer all mana plus two to the nearest friend ahead. I don't think that's very useful. And I'm honestly not really seeing the use case. I guess it's if you have um, stuff that spreads out mana. Where's the other one? The rock. Yeah, so these two, it's kind of annoying to see where the mana goes. So you could maybe just like collect it all with this. But I think I'm good. I don't think I want that. And I don't want the fire dragon either. It's good and a lot better than some of the stuff I have. But there is stuff at tier 4 that I want. So hopefully we'll find that. Um, that wasn't it, but I'll take it anyway. Oh, come on. Cyclops. Uh, what are you buffing? You're buffing these two. Uh, keep it frozen. Okay. Just for the 2-2. Two -two. I think I am going to sell it next turn, though. Oh my god, these... <laughs> Never mind, these snipes kind of suck. We're still winning, but... The amount of times it's hitting, like, some one attack junk in the back line is not nice. Alright, let's have that. Uh, we did find a level up. I would rather wait for tier 6, I think. We do want Nessie to stay alive in the meantime. Nah, let's do it now. Let's just do it now. Like, we have some other things we can potentially get leveled up. Uh, nothing I'm interested in here. Obviously, Salmon and Knowledge has synergy with Cyclops, but my actual pets don't benefit that much, so keep rolling. Another <laughs> mana hound? Yeah, I mean, we could try. I think that's the one thing that's definitely staying. But I need to survive long enough for it to make sense. And we have been countered. They have a mandrake. <laughs> I don't get my free rolls, no. That's just really sad. Okay. Uh, more of those. I guess. I, I do need to see the next tier stuff. So it's either that or there. And I think it has to be Wyvern, because that'll just be really helpful for finding more of other things. Alright. And we did find a Yeti. Okay. So I think get rid of the Bargast. Grab this. Uh, yeah, keep going for that. <laughs> and then you roll three times for me, and you'll give me any duplicates. So I need to start... I need to swap out the Bigfoot at some point. I may keep it for a bit, because like a level up could be another Yeti. It's like a 1 in 2 chance, considering I see 5 things. But yeah, we want to make sure we have as few different things as possible, because I want to see very specific things. Again, it's, it's just Mandrakes everywhere. It's because he's low tier. You can get hit by a level 1. Alright. Buy it. Roll. Uh, there is a Nessie. I should probably grab that for safety. So we can maybe get rid of the Bigfoot now. No, no, because I wanted a mana build. So I just need to find a Sea Serpent. Or the Chimera again. <laughs> I may have rolled them at this point, though. I, I definitely put it out of my head. I think sell Bigfoot. I think sell Bigfoot, run another Yeti. And then we can roll a ton. And we have enough HP to probably survive it. I'm going to do that, just in case one of these gets sniped. And we found another Ogre. That's probably going to go. If we got that leveled up earlier, it would have been useful, but... Yeah, this, I'm not seeing it as much. Amazing hits. Okay. 
It's not enough, though, because they have scary rabbits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so unfreeze that. We'll be leaving it. So really hoping to find this guy and get him leveled up fast. Short of that, I would like a Chimera, I think. Actually, yeah, let's just try and get use those Yetis. <laughs> Show me another one. Uh, it didn't, but we did find the Sea Serpent, so now we have a better target for the Mana Hound. So I'm down for that. And then these guys may be able to find more of them, which is very nice. There's one anyway. And send. This is actually working pretty well. Yeah, see, there's a couple of levels. <laughs> okay, big hit. It needs to get leveled up, though. Sea Serpent does damage based on how much um, mana it has. And if you level it up, it hits multiple things. If I get to, if I get that to level 3, then we can start like smashing the largest stuff, hopefully. Yeah, most healthy enemies. So I can buy that, and that is a, a thing. So let's see what that gives me. First time level 3, I like it. Uh, the rest of this I don't really care about. I was hoping to find another Sea Serpent there, because then I could buy that immediately and get rid of the Cyclops for the Yeti next turn. I'm kind of tempted to sell the Cyclops now, because I'm only going to get one more useful thing out of it, and honestly, just having more rolls is probably worth more. So yeah, sell that. We will keep the Wyvern for now, but we may get rid of it eventually. Okay, that's one of each. And a level for that at the very least. Yes, okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, we do have a loss though. <laughs> one HP. Mmm. I mean, that's nice. Okay, definitely do that. What is wrong with me? I forgot they would, like, delete my shop. <laughs> Okay, well, I still don't care about any of these, so we're just going to do it again and have a load more on this side. Another Sea Serpent. Or another Yeti. I'm tempted for another Yeti. Like, I'll freeze... Well, I guess I can't freeze it. It's just good for the Yeti. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we need to get rid of the Wyvern soon. Because I'm just not going to be having many more level... Like, levels. Okay, so now we have two big snipes. And it did mean a lot, but is it enough? I don't think so. Nah, we're just short. Oh, shame. Okay, we tried, and it did kind of showcase it. But let's, let's give that another go. Alright. Vargas, um, yeah, take the sneaky egg. Sneaky egg, yeah, okay. And then I'm going to take a bunyip. <laughs> let's be the boasty breaks. All right, let's see what we can do with this. That is a draw, nice. It's the best feeling, like, not losing the first round so you know that your second round is completely like, safe. Yeah, it's my favorite. All right, how's that looking? Probably a win? Oh, no, we're trades. Yeah, it's a draw, okay. Didn't matter. And honestly, it might be better, because stalling the game can be very helpful sometimes. But we start here. Brain cramp. Empty front space, jump to the front, gain plus two attack, and melon perk. And it gains more attack on level up, but that's it. I mean, it's not bad. I'm probably not going to be rolling a whole lot for you, so I think I do take this. I'm just going to stack that and leave the rest, I think. I can take an Ogre Pogo, but it's going to trigger, like, after most other things, so I think I'm okay. Savannah, empty front space, jump to the front, deal 3 damage to the last enemy. You know what? Yeah, let's have a bit of a jump build. I don't know how long it's going to stay, but <laughs> we can, like, start it. Yeah, do it that way. Alright, so I think this guy's going to be jumping first. I didn't realize these things, these things can jump to the front when they're in the front. I assumed they wouldn't work. Okay, that's information. Okay, nice. Um, putting that on you, I think, just because you are <laughs> very good. And I'm going to sell the Cuddle Toad and grab the Bigfoot. I don't mind more rolls. I will shuffle him forward, though. Oh, there's a good point. Transform one pet into another one from the same tier. I need to use these things more often. Like, instead of selling something... Where's the other one? 
Transform one pet into another from one higher tier. Yeah, I need to start using that. Because then I could maybe have some, like, you know, level 3 kind of low tier thing, and it might turn useful before I get rid of it. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll keep that for now. And another Bigfoot. Sure. Alright, let's double down on the eggs. On, the, on these, I mean. Have to keep them right at the front, otherwise it might not die. Okay, that's looking fine. Although, that guy doesn't die. So that's a shame. We only get one free roll, but... Still pretty good. Skeleton Dog. Also pretty nice. I may... Run it there. And <laughs> Brain Crap. I mean, I can go for the level. I don't actually care about doing a jump build right here. But we can maybe try it. It's been a little while. Ouch. We live! Nice. Okay. A lot of draws, but it's not too bad. Level Frostwolf. Oh, we have an actual level. Um, I think I'm going to sell the drop there just to buy another Vargas, because, again, it's very likely to actually hit something, and... You know, I want to save the money. So we'll throw that down, and then we're just looking for another one of those and this, I think. Yeah, we'll just we'll go. Looking, don't need more of those. Gingerbreads. I could put it on you. And it's actually pretty useful, because you generate your own equipment. So, sure. It's not like I'm going to be able to buy any of the other stuff this turn anyway. So yeah, keep that there. Not sure how much <laughs> order matters. Nah. Yeah, there's kind of some anti-synergy here, because I think I don't want this right at the back. But I need to have as few things behind this as possible, otherwise the stats might miss. And that looked really bad for a second, but we've actually crushed them. <laughs> it stood no chance. Alright, Vampire Bat, very good for a, a little while, so I may grab that. Werewolf, um, start a battle if the turn numbers even gain, like, double its stats. Salmon of Knowledge. Um, let's see what the other one is first. And we're gonna lose this, but that's fine. And Unicorn. I mean, we could try a Unicorn ailment build. Because you could do, like, Unicorn, Unicorn Phoenix. And there is actually synergy there. It doesn't really work with the rest of this, but it could offer me a, <laughs> a reason to take the vampire bats. Because we already have this guy. Yeah, I may try and make that work. Okay. So, friend gain ailment, replace it with plus two plus two. And that's permanent, but it only works one time per turn. So, yeah, I can maybe buy these wall chickens to get some immediate value. But we will see. Gingerbreads. Yeah, that's only going to be helpful if we do have a Phoenix. So I'm going to leave that for now. I'll maybe throw it on you, because you're going to be helpful as well. Yeah, freeze that. That's a combo, so I'm happy. And <laughs> those are Cyclopses. That may be me getting rid of the green Brain Cramp, or this. Or maybe both. Running double Cyclops could be very helpful for a few turns. Uh, sadly, they have an absolutely massive thing. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, so, tier 5 is still just you. It's tier, yeah, tier 6 is where we want to be, because I need to find one of those before I can actively start using this. Maybe leave Gingerbread. I could, like, level 1 up now and double stack Cyclops and roll a few times. Red Dragon. I mean, it's good, actually. It's better than the Vargast. Not yet. <laughs> I'd have to actually... Get it there, but yeah, I'm going to do this, I think. Yeah, you know what, buy both. I know I could have bought these before um, I got that level up, but it wouldn't have actually made a difference because I was going to sell it anyway. And yeah, you can be at the back. Run it this way. Unicorn's still doing nothing, and it will continue to do nothing until we have <laughs> the other thing, Phoenix. But that's fine. We have time. We're still on 5 HP. I can afford some losses if I have to. Or draws. Even better. Alright. Let's roll. Okay, good level. Very happy to see that. Uh, Quetzalcoatl is a very good pivoty pet. Right now it can't actually buff anything. But if we manage to find, um, you know, any good things really, then we can get something going there. I should probably just buy this right away and maybe buy the Mandrake. And that would mean me getting rid of the Unicorn, and maybe the Red Dragon. 
I don't want to get rid of this, but if we are doing this, we can basically pivot to anything, so... Yeah, let's see how that works. Don't need you. I just need to find levels. Okay, so you're going to level up. You're going to give him a load more stuff. Could have got it to level 3 with that, actually, but... Again, I'm probably not going to keep these for too long. We need to find Team Spirit, I think that was there. Yeah, we have that. And then we can just start scaling the other stuff we have. And we're on 5 HP, so we can do it really safely. Oh, dude, I just need to think of what I want to swap in. Like, I'm not sticking with Vampire Bat anymore. <laughs> Definitely doing Team Spirit something. Um, Do I sell it now? Yes. Maybe I go for, like, Max Cyclox game. I'd have to find a lot more of them. Oh, Wyvern's very nice. I'm going to keep that, because next time we're selling Mandrake, and then we can... Yeah, we can keep scaling stuff up. Just keep that frozen, and then show me chocolates or some other way to get levels on here. Uh, that's going to do it anyway. Let's put that on you. Okay. So we are going to be quite a bit larger in the fights. No, we're not, because that was an actual permanent one. <laughs> okay. Alright, safe. Six and five, still going flawless. Had a lot of draws, but yes, yeah, it's, it's good. So, stack that. Do I keep Mandrake? I can maybe get rid of the Bargast. Because this is just, it's potentially stronger. We're going to start reaching the point where everyone has, like, gingerbread on them soon. And this gives me more money. No, that's the same amount of money, but yeah. I wanted an excuse to get that on the board. So, Slepnit. That is a good thing to scale. We could maybe try another Sea Serpent game that way. But I can't scale too many things. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to sell it. Let's have a Sepna. Let's get some mana going. Another one of these, excellent. Okay, so give the frontmost friend plus one for each two mana this has. You're going to level up in the fight. You're going to give that one level as well. We need to level this. We need to start getting our tier 3s leveled up immediately. Like to level 3 all the way. So we're so close. Like, we're one notch away on so many things, and that'd be a lot of stats. Like, I know we're losing now, but we can very quickly turn this into a, an amazing team. Alright, that's an actual thing. Uh, Yeah, I think we do just kind of stack everything here. So, throw that down. Oh, we have another one? Amazing? Okay. Do that. I like it. Another one? Um, if I take the other one, then we have an excuse to get rid of the Cyclops, and I can start scaling up some other good thing. And if I see it now, then we can get rid of it this turn as well. Uh, sea Serpent. Yeah, we're doing Sea Serpent step near. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is good. So you level up. We can sell it next turn, buy another tier 3. That was obviously complete overkill on that, but we're just using this as an engine to scale our front line up here. So I just need to level this, really. It would have been nice to have kept the ogre around long enough to level my slip, but I think we'll be fine. Okay, so stack this, yes. And then I need to find another low tier thing here. It doesn't mean we're not going to find... um. Ooh. Yeah, okay. So that. Which do I want? Friend level up. Nothing's going to be leveling up in the fight, but you do get more stats that way. Yeah, because you're going to get leveled up by this. Yeah, never mind. Okay, that works. I need another level on this. Because the, the permanent stats we're getting at the end of every turn, they could be higher. And I know we don't have another thing that really benefits from having mana. So, like, leveling up the slap doesn't make a ton of sense. But it still does a massive snipe just based on the amount of <laughs> mana it has. So, why not? Um, we're going to be buying something else anyway. So, yeah, sell this, buy that, then buy the other one. And don't have a use for that. Okay. Keep rolling. And that is a level, which is also a lot of stats for the things I have. So, I'm going to buy it. Still don't care about those. I might freeze a lucky cat if that shows up. Yeah, you're level 2. I think you can buff yourself, but... 
Yeah, just in case we'll stuff we'll shuffle stuff around. Maybe still keep that to the front, because then we can give the the next thing frost when this bumps into it, and that's also kind of small relative to a couple of other things in my team. Oh, are we okay? Oh, there's a lot happening. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't need more of those. We don't need any of this. This is all just the random level ups we're getting from that. Mana hounds. Uh, also potentially useful, actually. That's not bad. Okay, put that there so we can get even more mana on that. Can I get level ups, please? <laughs> it's all I'm looking for. Not you, just that. My front line. Stop. Okay, well, send that again, I guess. Yeah, we're getting very big. I just want one more of these. I want to level that and find one more. And I'm pretty sure I must have rolled some gingerbread by now, but... I was convinced I'd be able to get them actually leveled up, so I didn't want to have to buy it. <laughs> now I'm not so sure. Yeah, like, see, we're still not even finding it. Alright. We'll buy that gingerbread, because we're probably on the last turn. Um, I could buy another skeleton dog, and it is a lot of stats. But I'm going to roll a bit, because if I find another one of those instead, it might show me another one. Show me. It didn't. Okay. Um, so I have three rolls. I could sell this now and immediately buy another one of these, or some other thing that might be kind of helpful, but... Let's see. One more, please. Nope. <laughs> okay. Get rid of this. Um, faint spend mana to remove HP from the most healthy enemies. Ooh, kind of similar to this. Um, I think I'd rather snipe the most healthy enemies first, and then we can remove the remaining after. Because this thing is going to have enough to kill, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it, it's default stats was almost enough to kill everything. I didn't even need the ability. But hey, another achievement. This build is very good for getting like random low tier achievements. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.